Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a top X query. It's where you could say, give me the top five records, top 10 records, top 20% of records, or the bottom five, bottom 10, whatever. And as a bonus, after I show you that, I'm going to show you how to number the rows too, right in your query. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can grab a copy off my website if you want to. I'll put links down below. And in my database, I've got a customer table right here. And my customers have lots of different fields we could use. I like credit limit for this example. I want to see the customers, the top, let's say, five customers who have the biggest credit limits. Okay, so let's go and make a query. Create. Query design. I'm going to bring in the customer table and we'll close that down. And if you've never made a query before, go watch my Access Beginner One class. It's free. It's on my website. It's on my YouTube channel. Again, I'll put links to all this stuff down below. So let's bring in first name and last name and let's go find credit limit. Where are you? Right there. And if I run the query now, they're in no particular order. So let's go ahead and sort them. I want the largest ones first. So I'm going to go to the sort and go descending. And now I run it. Now they're sorted from top to bottom, right? From biggest to smallest. All right, one more trip back in query design. Now, right there, you see return and it says all. Okay, right now, by default, you get all the records. Drop that box down. You got five, 25, 100. Let's pick five. And now run it. And look at that. You get the top five results. Okay, pretty cool. Let's change it to 25. There's a top 25 records. Very nice. Well, what if I want 10? How do I get, there's no 10 in there. Well, we're gonna come right in here and we're gonna type in 10. Now be careful, because it goes to 100, press delete, and it'll give you 10, tab or enter, and then run it, and there's your top 10. Okay, want the bottom 10? Well, just change your sort. Change that to ascending. Tail of a donkey, right? Okay, let's go back to descending, though. I want it, I want the big guys, I want the top, the big ballers up here, right? Like me. <laughs> you can also use percentages. If you notice, there's some percentages in here. 5, 25. You could say, give me the top 15% uh, if you want. And then run it. And there you go. There's top 15% of your records. Okay, someone says, I want to see the top, you know, top 13% of sales reps with the highest performance. Whatever. Now, let's go back to top, let's go back to top 10, not 100. I do that all the time. And I, I mentioned that in the video because I, literally whenever I do this, I want a top 10 and it always gives me 100. So I got to hit delete. <laughs> all right, there's top 10 records. Now, so far, that was all easy stuff. How do we number these guys? How do I put a number there? Well, to do that, we're going to use a little function, one of my favorites called dcount. If you've never used dcount before, go watch this video first. It's another one of my free videos. It's on my website, it's on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below. You can click on it and go watch it. Dcount basically says go out to a table, any table, and based on the criteria that I give you, give me a count of the number of records that meet that criteria. Okay? So go watch this and then come back. Okay, so how can I use dcount to give me a count over here of the number of records that I'm on, right? This is record four, this is record five, and so on. Well, if you look at this value here, okay, if I look in the table, all right, I've got the credit limit sorted, so the biggest one's on top, right? The second biggest one's next. All I have to do is say, I want to count the number of records that have a credit limit larger than that one. And that should return a zero, right? Okay, add one. Now I'm on record one. Let's take a look at the next one. I want to count the number of records that have a credit limit greater than that one. That should return a one. Add one to it. Now I'm on record two. See what I'm doing here? How about this guy? Okay. I want to decount the number of records that have a credit limit greater than this one. Well, there's two of them. Add one. I'm on record three. See how this works? Now, I'm going to give you a bit of a warning. Only do this with very small sets of records. You don't want to use the domain functions like dcount, dlookup, and all those. You don't want to use those in a very, very big query. So if you've got thousands of records, this will run slowly. But for something like this where you want top 10, you know, top 20, 30, whatever, even 100 records, it's not going to be super slow. But if you've got 10,000 records in here, try to avoid those d functions like dcount. 
But for this, it's perfectly simple. So I'm going to put it right here, and then we'll move it over to the beginning. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see Shift F2. All right, we'll call this my number and UM number. What number am I on? Okay, that's going to be D count. Now you want to count the field that you're counting because you don't want null values getting in here. Because if you just, you can do a count of the star like I show in the other video, but you don't want that because you don't want to count all the records. You want to count just the records with credit limits. All right, so I'm going to count up credit limit from the customer table where the credit limit is greater than and whatever the current credit limit is, okay, plus one. Here, I'll make this a little bit bigger. It makes it easier to read if it's all on the same line. Come here. There we go, right? Decount the credit limit field from the customer table where the credit limit is greater than whatever the credit limit of the current record is and then add one to it, and then we'll run it, and there's your count. Look at that, see, one, two, three, four, five. And if you flip this, if you're doing a, you know, small to big, you just wanna, you just wanna change that sign in here, change that from greater than to less than. Okay, and we'll take this, and we'll move it over here. Do something like that, run it, and there you go, there's your count. And this will work fine, too, if you got ties in here. For example, if you got, let's say, uh, uh, two people in here with, uh, you know, well, let's do three people in here with a $4,000 credit limit. See? And you might have to rerun the query to recalculate. There you go. See? So you got one, two, three, four, four, four. They tied for fourth place. Then it goes right to seven. So that works fine. Okay? Okay. Did you like learning this kind of stuff with me? Well, in my Access Beginner Level 5 class, I cover a lot more with query stuff, including those top X values. We spend some more time on those. And in Access Expert Level 29, expert stuff, a little more advanced stuff, I cover all those domain functions. The lookup, the sum, the count, the average, the max, the min, the first, the last. All kinds of D stuff in there, right? Those are all really cool functions. But that, my friends, is your Fast Tips video for today. I hope you learned something. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout-out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. 
You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.